All right, thank you. As I said earlier on, I'm going to give you reasons why you should study, come study with us at UG or send your child or ward to us. And so I'll talk about the history and management structure and provide some basic facts. And then I'll touch on our vision as a university and the strategic priorities which drive uh, this vision. And I'll introduce you to our administration, which is a largely decentralized system. Um, and then we will look at some facilities that we have here at the University of Ghana and end with some student support services. So the University of Ghana was established in 1948 as a university college of the Gold Coast. And it was then affiliated to the University of London. And so the University of London degrees were awarded to students who studied here. In 1957, when we attained independence, the university became known as the University of Ghana. And in 1961, following an act of parliament, we gained autonomy and began to award our own degrees. So the university is now about uh, 72 years old. Um, so these are our principal officers. So we have the chancellor, Her Excellency, Mrs. Mary Chimbi Hesse, the chairman of council, Professor Yao Chumisi, and the vice chancellor who is the CEO and leads the day-to-day -day administration of the University Professor Ebenezer Udru Udusu. I'd like to introduce you to other officers, key officers that we have. So you can see uh, myself, the Pro Vice Chancellor for Academic and Student Affairs. And then we have Professor Felix Sankuma Asante, who is Pro Vice Chancellor with responsibility for research, innovation and development. And the registrar, uh, who leads or who heads the administration is Mrs. Mercy Hazel this year. So some basic facts. Uh, per the Times Higher Education uh, ranking, we are the ranked number one in Ghana. We are number two in West Africa. And because we are so much concerned about internationalization, we partner with uh, 83 institutions around the world. This has to do with student exchange, uh, research uh, partnerships, and other forms of uh, collaboration. And we, we have these in 27 countries. Uh, some figures from 2016 to 2020, we've had 3,515 students coming to us for various programs, and these students come from 52 countries. So we are quite diverse with regard to our student population. Now our vision as a university is to become a world-class research intensive university. And uh, for, for this, we have nine priority areas. I'm not going to talk about all the nine priority areas. I just talk about, uh, or just mention uh, a few. The first one is research, since we uh, intend to become a research intensive university, uh, teaching and learning, uh, gender and diversity. And there we can talk about internationalization, then external stakeholders. And so public engagement and uh, cross-cultural exchange uh, there. The, for, for a number of years, uh, 2016 or 2018, uh, we were ranked number one in West Africa. And if you are familiar with the Times Higher Education rankings, there are five pillars that they consider, including international outlook. And we consistently rank high as far as international outlook is concerned. It tells you how seriously we take our internationalization agenda. Now the university is organized in four colleges. And so we have the College of Health Sciences. We have the College of Basic and Applied Sciences, the College of Humanities and the College of Education. Of course, we do have our central administration 
where you find the vice chancellor, the registrar, the pro vice chancellors, and also other strategic support units such as the School of Graduate Studies. The vice dean is here, and I believe he is the one who's going to speak after me. And most importantly, especially for today's program, we have the Office of International Programs, which coordinates our internationalization activities and programs. So I'll introduce you to all the four colleges and give you an idea of the various schools, institutes, institutes and centers that we find in there. So for the College of uh, Health Sciences, we have the School of Medicine. It, uh, until last year was the School of Medicine and Dentistry, but now we have the School of Medicine, we have the School of uh, Dentistry, we have the School of Public Health, we have the School of Nursing and Midwifery, we have the School of Pharmacy, School of Biomedical and Allied Health Sciences. And we have our well-known, world-renowned Noguchi Memorial Institute for Medical Research, also in the College of Health Sciences. Uh, for the College of Health Sciences, uh, a number of the schools are situated here on the Legon campus and others are, can be found at uh, our Kolebu campus where we have the teaching hospital. The College of Humanities is the largest college and in there we find the School of Arts, the School of Law, the School of Languages, the School of Social Sciences, uh, School of Performing Arts, the University of Ghana Business School. And we have a number of centers, which include the Language Center. The director is here with us today. The Legon Center for International Affairs and Diplomacy, the Center for Social Policy Studies, Center for Migration Studies, Center for gender studies and advocacy. And we have three institutes also in the College of Humanities. The Institute of African Studies, Institute of Statistical, Social and Economic Research and the Regional Institute for Population Studies. We have an Accra city campus which sits in the center of the city and that is also a part of the College of Humanities because the programs that we run there are largely uh, programs of the College of Humanities and a few from the College of Education. So in the College of Basic and Applied Sciences, we have the School of Agriculture, the School of Biological Sciences, the School of Engineering Sciences, the School of Physical and Mathematical Sciences, the School of Nuclear and Allied Sciences, which is a graduate school, and the School of Veterinary Medicine. And uh, we have uh, some institutes and uh, centers. We have the Institute for Environment and Sanitation Studies, the Institute of Applied Science and Technology, the West Africa Center for Crop Improvement, which is quite well known in the continent and internationally, and the biotechnical research centers. We also have three agricultural uh, stage research stations also in the College of Basic and Applied Sciences. Then finally, we have the College of Education, which is the smallest college. We have in there the School of Information and Communication Studies, the School of Education and Leadership, the School of Continuing and Distance Education, and the University of Ghana Learning Centers. Uh, we have these centers in 10 regions out of the 16 regions. And uh, we do have, uh, we run distance education programs in these learning centers. There are a number of facilities that we have at the University of Ghana, which are of great benefit to our students. So there are educational facilities, housing, sports, transport, and some general facilities. So let's go see what we have. Uh, educational facilities, we uh, could talk about our lecture theaters, our laboratories, uh, we have our BAM library, 
that we are very proud of. They are departmental libraries also. Uh, we have at least yet the Legon uh, Center for International Affairs and Diplomacy. We have the American Corner, which are international students. Uh, do like to uh, go there for the various discussions and seminars. Uh, we have 24 hour reading room. So this reading room is available all day, all night for students to go there and study and the research uh, commons and the knowledge commons, the research commons and the knowledge commons, as well as the 24 hour like uh, reading room can be, uh, they are all situated in the BAM library. And so here, I think this is coming from the research commons, which is situated in the BAM library. So all of these is intended to support our teaching and learning activities. With regard to uh, housing, there are 16 on-campus residential facilities, halls or hostels as we call them. Uh, we have our international student hostels, uh, two of them. Within there, we have Ghanaian students, about 30%. Uh, so that the interna international students who choose to go there still get Ghanaian students to interact with and help them to blend into the Ghanaian uh, context and culture. There are also uh, off-campus options in terms of hostels and uh, residencies. And so if you want to uh, stay within the community and get a lot more of the uh, Ghanaian community that is also possible. Then we have our, our sporting you know, social activities. So there are diverse, diverse sporting activities available from yoga, swimming, soccer, taekwondo, basketball. Uh, all of these are available uh, especially on our Legon uh, campus. And the location of the university allows relative easy access to a variety of social uh, facilities in Accra, including museums, eateries, malls, and uh, theaters. Transportation, uh, on campus transportation, we have our student uh, our shuttle services. And also the uh, Metro Mass uh, Transport uh, Services provide shuttle services. We have uh, campus approved taxis. And uh, of course, these days too, we have the, the Ubers, the Yangos, and all of those in that range. The university itself, especially the Legon campus can be considered as a small township. And so we have uh, convenience stores, we have uh, markets here, we have a number of banks here. So you find banks like Standard Chartered, Barclays Bank, Ecobank Access, UNB, you can find all of these here. We have uh, post office, we have bookstores and uh, Forex Bureau, all of these are available uh, for members of the university community. And so here you, we, 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 we have uh, images of some of the facilities that we have here. So from residential facilities uh, to our international house, you can see pictures also from some of our laboratories. Now to our student support services. There are a number of student support services that we make available for our students. And so I earlier talked about our diverse student population that provides an avenue for multiculturalism. Uh, we have our student abroad uh, program, which allows uh, some of our students to spend some time outside of the country, sometimes for a semester, sometimes for a whole academic year. Uh, we have international uh, uh, faculty, like experiential learning opportunities available, student associations, uh, social and cultural uh, spaces. So for especially uh, for IPO, there's the IPO DEBAF, 
in the first semester and the international week in the second semester. Uh, academic support services such as study buddies and the tutoring systems are available. And we have our career, careers and counseling center which offers uh, a range of uh, services, including uh, leadership and development, preparing students for the world of work and uh, psychosocial support. So I will talk uh, a bit more about uh, some of these. Uh, this is just to give you an idea of uh, various activities that are available for our students, including our international students. So our study abroad program, uh, so from 2012 to a date, University of Ghana has sent students on study abroad programs to 22 universities in 16 countries. And you see some of the countries uh, stated there on the screen. As I said earlier on, this is usually for a semester or for an academic year. We have uh, some international faculty and so in three of our colleges, we have faculty coming from uh, 22 countries, uh, from countries such as Benin, Cameroon, Canada, China, uh, Cote d'Ivoire, Denmark, um, through Niger, Nigeria, through to Zimbabwe. So when you come to Legon, you know, it's like, it's, 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 a, it's, it's, it's a global place. You can find the whole world uh, here at Legon. When we take into consideration the countries that our international students and faculty are coming from, we have 80, 84 countries represented right here on our campuses. When, when we have international students uh, coming to us, there is a range of experiential learning opportunities available uh, for them. And so it's, a way it's possible for students to spend some time in orphanages helping, help, helping out. Uh, also in some basic schools uh, around us. Here on our campus, we have our own basic school, but there are also a number of basic schools in communities around, around us that uh, our students uh, provide. Uh, provides an avenue for experiential learning for our students. There's the university hospital to uh, support with our health need, our health needs, and then there's the street academy. And we've uh, we have newly introduced supervised experiential learning courses where students can take for our international students can take for credit, especially our short-term international students, and. We have our students' associations, uh, which uh, allow for hanging out, uh, some uh, social activities, and, and, and also some community service activities. And so there's opportunity for salsa mingle. We have the ISEC, the Leo Club, and the International Students Association. The Careers and Counseling Center, it said uh, they provide a, a 360 uh, course which uh, consists of a leadership uh, academy and also uh, courses that prepare students for the world of work. And so they, they, they help you prepare uh, your CV, have the lessons on uh, other uh, soft, soft skills that we can develop. And they are also available for uh, counseling and uh, for uh, general cycles, uh, social support services relating to issues of anxiety, in campus safety, depression, uh, healthy relationships, self esteem issues. And they provide um, guidance, assistance, or study skills and time management. And so uh, in summary, why should you study at UG? You are assured of quality qualifications, uh, high quality teaching faculty. And indeed here we nurture the next 
uh, generation of wet ready graduates and postgraduates. Uh, we have alumni in reputable industries across the world, and this gives us an industry edge and links. And we also provide and expose our students to global perspectives and experiences.